Hey, what is up, guys? So, Kazanganu is suing Holly Berry. Holly Berry directed and starred in a movie called Bruised. The description is a disgraced MMA fighter finds redemption in the cage and the courage to face her demons when the son she had given up as an infant unexpectedly re-enters her life. And a little fun fact, Holly Berry broke two of her ribs the first day filming the movie. So this TMZ article pretty much dictates why Kat Zinganu is suing Holly Berry. The title, ex-UFC fighter sues over bruised, you snaked me. Holly Berry is getting dragged into the legal ring by former UFC fighter. Kat Zinganu is suing, claiming Holly offered her a movie role, but was ultimately snubbed. According to the lawsuit obtained by TMZ, Kat claims she met with Holly back in July of 2019 to talk about a movie Holly Berry was directing, Bruised, and says Holly told her she was perfect for the project. Kat claims Holly told her to keep her schedule clear because film production was on the horizon, but she says the UFC came calling soon thereafter with a big fight offer. In the documents, Kat claims she talked to Holly Berry about the fight offer and claims Holly advised she pass on the fight if she wanted to be in the film, citing liability concerns from the movie's insurer. Kat claims she agonized over the decision, the movie versus the big fight, and says she ultimately turned down the fight. She says the UFC then released her from her contract. According to the suit, Kat claims she looped Holly in on her decision not to fight and her subsequent release from the UFC, and says she was shocked and dismayed when Holly told her she could no longer be involved in the movie because she was no longer fighting in the UFC. She claims she was told the movie could only work with UFC fighters. Kat, who's currently a Bellator fighter, claims Holly has cut off all communications from her. She's suing for damages, claiming she relied on Holly's promise and ended up getting screwed. We reached out to Holly's camp, so far no word back. Yeah, that definitely sucks for Kat Zingano, who got caught in the middle of that and lost her UFC position, her contract, and was released because she was trying to have a movie opportunity that never came, so that does suck. And since we're talking about UFC releases, do you guys remember Justin James, the UFC fighter who bet his whole purse on his fight and lost by split decision. Well, the UFC cut him on his birthday not too long ago. Yeah, so that sucks too. They couldn't wait like a day, not two. They're like, yeah, strike him down while he's uh, at his happiest. Anyways, tell me guys think about this situation with Kat Sagano.